Welcome to the Pin My Setup Highlights for episode number 134. The first setup was submitted by Nathan. I really like it. I think it's simple. It works. Obviously, the printer, that cable, you can mount it down the side of the uh, the white shelf. Clean that up a little bit. Make it look neat. I think the PC and really everything on the right, the consoles and stuff, it's too much for the desk. Get a side piece, like the smaller Calyx, and actually just, it's like the four cubes. Put each console in there. Clean that up. Triple monitor stand is going to help in the long run. Uh, so I definitely think that's something to think about. And condensing that left shelf will also help a lot. Nathan scored an 88. The next setup was submitted by Chris. I really would like to see what the other side of the room looks like but obviously he'd have to be like on top of the the desk to actually get the photo but that must be like an insanely small room for him to only be able to get that close the headphones in the spot that they're at that's not really usable it's it's uh if you look at the first photo tom they're right behind the monitor yeah see that's what i mean you should know where they are and you shouldn't have to reach behind your monitor it's just it's a weird spot for it a speaker placement I like what you're going for, but I think the center speaker is too high, and I think the rear speakers, you know, actually, when I thought about it, the rear speakers at first, I was like, that's stupid, that's not what you're supposed to do, but I actually don't think that's the end of the world. If you're gonna wanna put them up and you don't have the room to put it behind you, that's not terrible. Chris scored a 78. The next setup was submitted by Herman. He was on episode 96, he scored a 74, and since then, he purchased a new desk and made it more personal, like, a uh, so no more sticker bombing look at the the freaking that was mm, stupid i told him it's stupid and now he doesn't have it so good job uh and he added personality as we could see the guitar and all that and beforehand you know there wasn't really anything that kind of sold what he was about uh and then usability is improved and it just i mean if you look at it it just looks fresh you know in his first photo the speakers were kind of laying down to the side and he said that wasn't ideal for him but now uh with the way that he's got the monitors mounted he has enough room and it's like you know perfect for him he likes that it's an awesome setup and it looks clean as hell man and, and i have to give that to you it's fresh it works herman scored an 86. the next setup was submitted by david he was actually the co host for episode 94 he's a professional photographer and therefore uh he uses this setup for productivity at first glance this setup is just gorgeous in a lot of different ways but think about it think about it there are people and then you might be one of them that looks at this and say damn there's too much going on here it's overcrowded and uh part of me agrees like yeah it's cramped uh in the sense that there's a lot on the desk but is it cramped in terms of usability not quite uh when i look at that second photo that's a little bit closer up it, it seems pretty usable you sort of have an issue in the sense that the left speaker is kind of off in terms of the right speaker it's super clean vacuum floor a at night it looks really good with the LED LEDs. I love salt lamps. Um, salt lamps for life, bro. David scored a 90. The next setup was submitted by Lacklin. Back when he first started watching uh, the show, his setup looked like this. And he held off from submitting until now. And as you can see, there's a huge difference. Even look at the next photo. He's a massive fan of Back to the Future, The Walking Dead, and Game of Thrones. If you couldn't tell, I mean, it's, I mean, Lorian on the wall kind of gives it away. I would have just like thrown a hundred at it because of how dope. I mean, literally look at his shelving unit and it like lights up and he's got so many freaking cool things. I mean, insane, but he's, his bed is like right there. And I don't know how you comfortably sit with the bed right there. And Besides that, it's a gorgeous setup. And I love the attention to detail. I love how clean every little aspect is. Lackland scored a 92. The next setup was submitted by John. It's pretty, uh, pretty full to the max in terms of, you know, the full out stuff and whatnot, but just like a little bit of everything is going on here and uh, definitely interesting at first glance. Like out of sight, out of mind, it's okay. Secondary monitor, is it necessary? I don't know. I don't know what he does with life. Shelf to the right, I thought it looked a little odd to say the least. And I think that whole section, the rest of the room, just kind of looks weird. John scored an 84. The final setup was submitted by Liam. If you look at the first photo, has multiple side panels under his desk going along the bottom to stop the light from coming through and to hide cables. That's like the weirdest yet most unique thing I've heard. I looked at that and I said, dude, what a missed opportunity there. Uh, like that wall is just, dude, it is literally just, but then, saw the next photo and I was like, damn! That right there, just saw, like, I was like, dude, why not do anything with that wall? Like, are you being serious? And then I saw that and I was saw, I was just like, dude, at night, this setup looks awesome. The lava lamp, the LEDs, everything looks beautiful. Wire management on the TV, put some wire mold on that. The TV remote's on the desk. 
Get a little uh, little holder thing for those because that just kind of looks stupid with all of them there. If you're going to be staying at, at this desk for a lot longer and you're going to keep it, although I don't like the color of it, I think that you could drill the hole in and that's going to help a lot with cable management. Liam scored an 88. Lachlan walked away with first place, getting a 92. Thanks for watching the Pin My Set of Highlights for episode number 134.